As this country embarks in a mandatory um, national health plan, I think that we have to take a look at um, several issues. These issues may seem unrelated, but just take the Vidalia onion, which we tout uh, for its its uh, lack of um, objectionable taste. The sweet tasting Vidalia onion um, was raised in Georgia, and it was because of its low sulfur uh, content of the soil that these onions became very popular. I don't know about you, but when I was young, the mere cutting of an onion caused severe pain in the eyes, and you had to flush your eyes out with water. It was drudgery, and dealing with onions was just a terrible thing uh, for everybody, my mother, uh, my sisters, my brothers, myself. But this has changed. You have to ask yourself, why has this changed? Why are onions today so more much milder? Uh, to the point where they just don't have the type of zing that they were stereotyped to have when we were growing up. Does it bother any of you that for the last 50 years we have destroyed over 50% of our supply of topsoil needed for food production? The answer as to why we no longer get these severe pains in the eye when we deal with onions of any kind are the fact that there's less sulfur in the soil. It's, it's a matter of fact that there are less sulfur emissions which normally would sink into the soil. We don't have them. Um, they're not putting in the soil and it's taken out of the soil. Our, our farming methods are so intensive that uh, there is a shortage of, of sulfur in our soil and the sulfur has a lot to do with the various mechanisms in our body and our immune system and everything else. Growing fields as far as 30 to 60 miles downwind from industrial activity can significantly uh, aid the nutritional aspect of the crops. The insane mania that we have for producing ethanol alcohol for our gasoline has caused a rape of the land and recent observations of sulfur deficiency symptoms in cornfields is now totally apparent. The results of the type of farming we're doing is such that the vitamin C levels in spinach have dropped from 150 uh, milligrams in 1950 to 13 milligrams in 1994 less than 10 percent of what it used to have. There are long lists of decreases in the mineral and vitamin contents of our foods and the government really doesn't give a hoot about us being fed correctly. It's all a matter of profits for the big farmers who pay everybody off. Just look at the reductions of uh, various minerals in, in a recent period, I think, what, 1978 to 1991. Uh, phenomenal amounts of um, reductions. And even the one showing a positive, there's a reason for it because of a lot of um, usage of beets. My observations about the potency of the onions is really indicative of what's going on here. And we can talk about national health plans all we want because the trend is we're getting more unhealthy every day because our food supply is totally uh, devoid of anything nutritious. It's designed for transportation from far places. It's designed for looks. It's designed for the cosmetics of how it looks when it gets to you. The, the amount of, of nutrients in it has nothing to do with anything. And that's the way the government accepts it. So if you think our government cares about you and your health, you are basically certifiable. There is a group out in Salina, Kansas called the Land Institute led by Dr. Wes Jackson who is working on developing strains of perennials, uh, foods that grow year after year and you, and you don't disrupt the root system, you don't cause all kinds of erosion which is destroying the Gulf of Mexico, you're not losing all the topsoil. 
And these people are worth looking into because if there is a solution, these people are going to be part of it and they deserve your support. I hope you found this uh, YouTube somewhat intriguing because it's taken me many, many years. What? I'm 60 now, so it's taken me about 50 years to realize that something has changed. And um, I've spoken to other people about this, and it's a matter of things changing to the point where you don't notice it. So how many other things have we not noticed? And some obviously a lot more important on the surface than a than a meager onion but when you look into things such as the onion and the association between the potency of the onion and sulfur and the fact that these onions are no doubt less potent than they used to be regardless of what genetic engineering you're doing on these things you have to understand that sulfur which is a very important aspect in our health and our enzymes and our general health is deficient. And not only is it deficient, but there's deficiencies in most of the minerals that we used to depend on before the pharmaceutical giants have really stressed the fact that they don't care if we get sick, they're just going to try to mask our symptoms and make us better. There's something going on here which you Americans better wake up before it's too late because we are being just treated like cattle, cattle raised for the purpose of consumption and the idea is to make you sick so that you don't have any money left when you die that the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies everybody's gotten their money and now it's going to be the health insurance companies everybody will have your money except your kids take care god bless you